Hi, hi everyone, it's Roger here from what's on at DisneyPlus.com, a quick Disney Plus news roundup where I'm going to be talking all about the return of Doctor Who. The strikes may be coming to an end and Disney going to be investing in more Korean originals. But before we go any further, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. Let's start off talking about Doctor Who, which is going to be returning for free specials that are going to be coming out this November. So this is all part of the 60th anniversary and we're seeing David Tennant return turn as the Doctor. We've also got Catherine Tate in here as Donna and the trailer just looks fantastic. So this series is going to be available on the BBC including iPlayer in the UK and Ireland but on the rest of the world it's going to be available on Disney Plus. I um, don't know if it will also be on Disney Plus in the UK. I think it's just going to be on the BBC for a while. But this is a fantastic looking trailer. I thought it looks amazing. I really enjoyed David Tennant as Doctor Who. He's kind of, I would definitely say, my favourite out of all of them. And now I have been a Doctor Who fan since way back, like, I don't know, like the third or fourth Doctor, whatever it is. I've been a fan my entire life. Dad used to watch it, and he's, so I've been watching this show for a long time. Um, but with this new uh, sort of specials, you're pretty much going to be able to jump in if you've never watched it, and they'll get you caught up to speed. This is all kind of getting ready for the brand new series coming out um, next year. There's going to be a Christmas special as well with Shudi Gatwa um, being the new Doctor. It's kind of one of the great things about this show where every time an actor wants to leave, they can kind of kill them off and then they just bring them back and they become a brand new um, character and a brand new person. So I think it's, it's a great show. Really looking forward to it. The trailer's just full of action. You've got Neil Patrick Harris as this like evil looking toy maker. It just looks crazy. You've got um, this weird looking alien that just looks so cute. Um, yeah, it just looks really good. I cannot wait to watch the, the trailer. It's just really got me revved up. I can't wait to see it. The fact that now, and this is a Disney Plus show for the rest of the world, I mean, it is just fantastic. No date yet. Generally, as well, you've got to remember, this is a BBC and Disney joint production, but generally the BBC are in kind of in charge of um, like the advertising and all the rest of it. So it's kind of on their schedule. So we'll work a little bit different to your typical Disney Plus stuff where of how it comes out. So we probably won't know the sort of the release date probably till much nearer the time. Disney... Um, tend to give them out much further in advance than the BBC. They tend to, we don't normally know about it until about a week or two before. But really looking forward to um, Doctor Who. Hopefully at some point they maybe make a deal to bring some of the previous seasons on there. But yeah, I think this is a great jumping on point for anyone that's never watched Doctor Who. But yeah, I, I can't wait for this show to drop the specials. The trailer just looked fantastic. But let us know what you thought of Doctor Who in the comments below. Moving on from there, let's now talk about a brand new Korean series called Moving. So the season finale was just released on Disney streaming services, which obviously include Hulu in the US and on Disney Plus around the world. So this was um, one of the most watched Korean originals of all time. It has been a huge success. It has, uh, yeah, it's just done incredible numbers in Korea, but also on Disney Plus around the world and even on Hulu. It's, it's just done really well. And because of the success, we're going to be seeing some big, um, some big more moves from Disney in terms of Korean content. During a press conference in Korea for the finale, um, Kim Sun Yun, who is the managing director of the Walt Disney Company in Korea, says, Moving is the most successful Korean original content since Disney Plus launched in Korea. It's provided Disney Plus with a critical turning point in terms of business and content production, paving the way for moving to the next level. It's all meaningful work and went on to say in regards to some of the rumors that came out earlier this year about Korea cu cutting back on its originals, saying Korean content is not only important in Korea, but also in the global market. We will continue to produce local content and investment will continue. The size of investment will gradually increase. Disney's had a lot of success with its Korean originals. We've had shows like Snowdrop, Big Bet, Shadow Detective, loads more coming out. We've just got the new teaser trailer today for um, Vigilante, which is coming out in November. Um, yeah, there's just a lot of great content coming out of Korea and, the, and really the main thing is it's not just doing good numbers in Korea, it's doing good numbers globally and yeah, f people are just really kind of tuning in to these originals. I do think like with moving, I think with the idea that it was a kind of a superhero show, something a little bit fresh, something a little bit different and I think that's good. Um, there is kind of talk of there potentially being a second season. I can't see why there wouldn't be because, let's be honest, if it's your most successful show, you kind of want to do some more of it. But yeah, so we are definitely going to be seeing some more Korean content. Now, Bob Iger has spoken earlier this year about them trying to cut back on the amount of international originals they create. However, he's been very specific in the fact that 
If in a country it does very well and they make money, they will continue to do so when it makes sense to do so. And this is, I think the key thing with Korea is they're making content that people are not just watching in Korea, but globally. Same thing really, I think, with shows coming like from the UK. You know, these kind of originals have a much um, larger scope. I would also like throw in Japanese anime as well. These kind of sh shows have a much larger audience and therefore it is, they're much more valuable to Disney moving forward. But yes, yeah, so it looks like Korean originals are gonna be something that we're gonna continue to see. Whether or not we see as many, I don't know, but they're definitely investing more in this, which I think is fantastic. Just more choice, more variety is always good. But let us know, are you excited to see more Korean originals on Disney streaming services? Love to hear your thoughts on that in the comments below. And we had some great news overnight after like five days of negotiations between the studios and the Writers Guild of America an agreement has now been made so this means now that they're going to be kind of putting together the the contracts just kind of sorting out the, the wording and stuff that's all pretty much coming to an end is then we'll be going to their kind of committee to be approved of which point then it will be sent out to the members of the Writers Guild to vote on it. It is expected that it will pass because Obviously, they wouldn't have agreed to this deal if they weren't getting some of the stuff that they wanted. We'll hopefully, obviously, we'll find out more of what was in the deal, I would imagine, later this week. Um, yeah, so this is just fantastic news because it just means now things are moving. They've been on strike since the beginning of May, obviously pushing forward for protection against AI, just better working conditions, longer pay, more pay, obviously, is a big thing. Residuals from streaming services like Disney+. Plus. Just loads of stuff that's needed to get sorted. And then this kind of was a, I think, a catalyst of just stuff that's been going on for years and years and years. And it got to that point where things needed to be drastically changed. And this was that point that they felt it was needed to do so. So what this means also is that things will start moving forward. It's probably going to take a couple of weeks for everything to kind of kick in. Because um, they have still got to be obviously voted for and get through. It, it, it will suspectly get through. But also it does mean now they're no longer picketing. Um, that means, for example, like on Dancing with the Stars, that's set to start airing on at Disney Plus and ABC in the US and Canada from Tuesday. That will be, there won't be any pickets and stuff in there for that. Now obviously the actors are still on strike, so things um, will continue in terms of not having full production. And writing and stuff like that is, is probably not going to be happening for a couple of weeks. But you're going to start seeing, I suspect, very, very soon, I wouldn't be at all surprised by the end of the week, if we start seeing the studios and the Actors Guild also getting together to kind of get this stuff sorted so by you know next month things can start moving again, things can start being produced and just get this entire ordeal behind us. It's just been taking so long. It's just, I can't believe how long it's taken to get this all done. But we're definitely far forward more today than we were for the last few months. Yeah, and it definitely, it's just great to kind of hear some, some things moving forward. And that means obviously, from Disney Plus's point of view, that means shows can start getting written. Uh, you know, that's gonna start coming in. Some projects that are in development can start shifting around a little bit. Um, deals that are in place will maybe start getting revealed. But the main thing is, once they get the actors sorted, then they can start um, filming stuff again. You know, you've got the shows like Alien in Thailand that's been shut down. You've got Andor here in the UK. We've got shows like Daredevil, Born Again, and Wonder Man, you know, they can restart. Deadpool free filming can restart and then obviously they can get they've got to go through then all the other stuff that's been delayed and you know the so it's going to have an impact for probably a year plus this is not going to be over we're going to see a lot less content coming next year you know some shows like Grey's Anatomy can start coming back you know they can get back working again on on things like the Simpsons and there's a whole host of stuff that um are gonna start rolling from this, but obviously we just have to get now the actors sorted, because yeah, it, but there's a, we've definitely moved forward so much more, but yeah, it's still got a couple more weeks, I think, of some, some hard stuff to come, but yeah, it definitely is a big, big relief. Definitely was so glad to see that this morning when I woke up, but yeah. But let us know what you think of all this in the comments below. Let us know your thoughts. Right, with it being when, Okay, with it being Monday, let's talk about what's new on Disney Plus today. So the major new release is the finale of the 11th season of Futurama. You can find it on Hulu in the US, Star Plus in Latin America, Disney Plus around the world. Um, this one, um, again, we're just now in that kind of the end of the season. Now I'm suspecting with 
they, they actually commissioned 20 episodes and I think they've split them up into 10s and so we'll probably get like season 12 rather than extended. So I think that's how they've done it with this one. You know, we're seeing that a lot more with shows now with these shorter seasons, but we will be getting at least another 10 more episodes. So that's great. So if you enjoy Futurama, that one is the big new release. Also today you got the uh, finale of Cinderella Noir. That's going to be a new Japanese anime. So that's going to be the final episode dropping again. Disney Plus around the world, Hulu in the US. But that's the big new one. And in Canada, they got a new episode of the fourth season of Solar Opposites. So lots of animation stuff to enjoy today, but are you going to be watching any of them? I'd love to hear your thoughts on that in the comments below. And our comment today, which comes from Broken Bridge, who says, So Roger, what random series would you love to see on Disney Plus? So in terms of a random series, now this was really interesting, because there's a number of things I thought about. So I thought about, you know, shows like Stranger Things, you know, Lord of the Rings, you got like The Boys. Um, so those kind of shows, one that really kind of popped up was the idea of it would be great if Disney had access to Star Trek because that's an amazing franchise. I think that, that would really be really interesting. And obviously over the last week we've been talking a lot about like the WWE. And I think for me personally, I think that would be a great addition because I know a lot of people, you know, don't necessarily think of it as... You know, some people think of it as sports, some people think of it as entertainment. But I think it's one of those shows that has, you know, it's got a constant rolling show and it's, it's entertainment, you've got different elements to it. And that idea of having a constant weekly thing, week in, week out, week in, week out, I think would be a great addition. Um, even if it was just Raw, um, I mean, obviously SmackDown's just been signed up to a new deal in the US, but if it was a global thing, I think that would be good. I don't think it'll ever happen, because I don't think, um, like, WWE will ever sign a, like, a global deal for a single show if it's a bit messed up. But I would love just to have something on there that's, that's very, very different from the rest of the content that's on Disney+. Plus. Something completely original, and... Yeah, just very unique. I mean, you could maybe say the opposite thing and go, okay, well, maybe we don't have WWE, but maybe have AEW. You know, that could be something there. Um, just to have something very, very different. And I think that's not necessarily a bad thing. But for me personally, I mean, yeah, there's you could go down drama series and, you know, you could throw in DC or all these other big names. But for me, definitely for me personally, I feel like something completely out of the blue, like um, AEW or WWE would be, yeah, definitely would be my choice. But let us know what random series could be anything would you love to see on Disney Plus? I'd love to hear your thoughts on that in the comments below. Also, yeah, pop some questions in. Uh, if you get a good one, I will answer that one as well tomorrow. I always like different things as well. I always like to open things up. Also, remember to check out yesterday's Q&A. So there was a little bit longer one generally with the Q&A one. So um, feel free to check that one out. We had questions from our patrons and YouTube channel members, which you can become from as little as $2. It really helps support us. Um, it's, so we're less reliant on advertising and stuff to pay for the website, the podcast, all this equipment and stuff. So again, thank you to everyone for that. And on that note, guys, thank you very much. See you guys soon. Laters.